Today's parable in the gospel talks about ten merchants. Five were prepared and five were unprepared for the coming of the bridegroom. The virgins represent us. The bridegroom represents the Lord. And five of them had their had their lamps, but they didn't bring any extra oil. So the bridegroom was delayed, and so that those that didn't have any extra oil, they ran out. And they asked the other ones who had some oil for some oil. But it wasn't a story about sharing. It's about being prepared. It's about being prepared and we have to think of where do we stand? Are we prepared? Are we unprepared? Are we the wise versions? Are we the unwise versions in life? Jesus in Matthew also chapter 24 talks about that during the great flood there were those that were prepared and not prepared and so that those that were unprepared were washed away in the great flood he also talks about the thief, the thief in the middle of the night. If you know when he's coming, you can be prepared and not be taken advantage by the thief. So how do we prepare ourselves for the coming of the bridegroom? In the first reading it talks about wisdom the virtue of wisdom. Love God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind and all your strength so as to achieve the kingdom, the eternal kingdom. So as to achieve the eternal kingdom, you have to be prepared in life for the coming of the bridegroom the coming of our Lord. And isn't that what St. Paul is talking about when he talks about hope of eternal life? Eternal life is us going from this life to the new world. And we know that this is not the end of our journey, but it's the beginning. We can look at it as a beginning. They were telling me a story about these two young gentlemen. They were ball players all during their, their childhood and adult, adult life. And they made a pact. They said, whoever gets to heaven first, is to come back and tell the other one what it's like in heaven. And so one of them was called. And about three or four years later, the other one was at an A&W having his drink. And the other one came back. And he surprised me. And he said, how is, how is heaven? He says, it's beautiful, it's peaceful. We play ball every day, all day long. We have a wonderful time. And then he says, but, but what are you doing here? 
And he said, we need you on the team tomorrow. So I'm coming for you. And you know that when we lose a loved one, that's when we think about that. You know that they're off to meet the rest of the family. Especially our parents, you know, when, when they go, one of them always usually goes first and we say, oh well, you know, now they're united. Now they're together. So that's a, I think that's the hope that St. Paul talks about in the second reading, about falling asleep, about death not being the end of our journey. Because if Christ was raised by God the Father, we too will be will be raised. So we have to think about our journey. Are we prepared? For the coming of the bridegroom? Do we have the oil necessary until he gets here? Are we, are, are we unprepared for the coming of the bridegroom? We have to we have to pray for the virtue of wisdom. Wisdom in the first reading said it's it's unfading and it's available to all who love her and to all who seek her. May we in our journey seek the virtue of wisdom. May we seek to love God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, with all our strength, so we too can meet the bridegroom when he gets here. Amen.